Hello, hello everyone. It's Becky and we are going to do a Marguerite Miller challenge. We're going to do a 2021. We're going to do our 2022. We are doing week 31. <laughs> I think I am behind. Let me see. We are on. Let me see. Week 35. So I'm behind again. So we are going to do week 31. We need something with a spine. I got these lemurs. I think these are lemurs. Ringtail lemur. Pretty sure they have a spine. We need a road or a path. I got this picture of a road. My least favorite color, I would say, is red. So we gotta use some red. A formula, I got this formula out of a book on uh, the value of auctions. The formula for auctions and how it's relative to each bidder. It says a crossword or newspaper magazine puzzle. Here's one I did back in 2017, a logic puzzle. And as a bonus, it says dried flower. And I got these from my mom. This is a dried up hydrangea. Oh, sorry. I need to be over here on the camera. Dried up hydrangea. So these are our elements that we need to use and this is our page remember the last one we did was to create a secret code so now we are going to be creating using these other little prompts here so I'm going to cut these pictures down let me see more Moraine Lake Road. That's what that says. It's funny. Um, in the past, I would, and it was very hard for me to do this. In the past, I would not cut into a book at all. That is like sacrilegious to me. You don't cut books up. Books are for reading and cherishing. You don't cut the books up, but I bought, I find myself now when the auctions have books, like, can I use those books? <laughs> so if they're not my books, I will cut them up. But there are a couple I get from the auction. Like, the, I got this big old um, Mayo Clinic medical book. And I, and I could have easily got into that medical book and got a picture of a spine, you know, a human spine. But I didn't want to cut it up. So I found a different book and a different spine on a different critter. So I'm gonna see if I can, well, I was gonna take my See if I could cut this down a little bit with my paper cutter, but I don't think it would cut this paper. I think my blade is so dull on my paper cutter. it would chew up the paper is what I'm thinking so I wonder if I used I was thinking I would put my um, dried flowers in this vase and we'll put it right there we'll put that down there yeah we gotta see where we're gonna put all of our stuffs our lemurs. Our path. And then where 
we going to put this? Am I going to have to cut it down some more? <laughs> I'm always cutting our props down, aren't I? Just make another pocket and we'll put the prompts in the pocket. I'm gonna see if I got some red washi tape. We'll carry on our theme our red theme with the washi tape. Let me put this up. Because I don't need two pieces of red. So I'm gonna do red something else. So I'm looking for red washi tape. what you doing? Where's your jerky, kitty? Alright, I found this red washi tape. We will use it. It says, find your joy. I'm trying to find my joy. Right, let me cut this down a little bit more. these little scraps. I've, I've just been very uh, down on myself lately because I haven't been able to do my crafting. So I'm happy to get back into it. We foresee a slowing down of going to sit with mom in the very near future. She will be, she is progressing out of her therapies. She's starting to fall back into her old habits, although she is trying to quit smoking. We got her the nicotine patches. And she started wearing those yesterday, so we'll see how far she gets. But I think she could do it, but she smokes because she is bored. You know, I, and I gave her a fidget spinner. I said, anytime you feel like you need to smoke, pick up your fidget spinner and fidget away. I let her borrow mine, so we'll see if she fidgets with it. But her memory still isn't. There are good days when she is Johnny on the spot with everything. And then there are bad days when she doesn't remember anything at all. Nothing. Okay. So we got our puzzle. All right, our lemur is going up here. Our thing with the spine. I just come home last night when I do come home from my mom's I really don't it takes me a good day to get back into the groove of things and while I'm only here like for two days and then I'm gone again for two days 
but they did come and take all that auction stuff so that's a relief and I probably need to take a break from doing things because I'm having some issues with my tennis elbow I'm probably going to have to call the doctor and go get a cortisone shot. But we will see. I know one thing, I am not doing any more physical therapy. I am therapied out. I wear the brace. Alright, this one is going to go here and we're going to make it a pocket. So we only need three sides of this. And look, I done got glue. I cannot, <laughs> for the life of me, <laughs> glue anything the right way. <laughs> Anybody else have that problem? Um, we went and saw, Mom and I went and saw like the clinical pharmacist yesterday. Come to find out, it was only scheduled about the diabetes stuff, not about the Eliquis. And I thought it was for the Eliquis. But we got her set up with warfarin, which is a blood thinner as well. All right, and she's taken that in the past with no problem, so. See, my mom had picked, um, had my husband go get her some of these hydrangeas out of her neighbor's yard, which the neighbor said that was okay. And I came across this, it said, um, dried flower or leaves and she says it's time to throw those hydrangeas away and I thought hey I could use this okay let's see Gonna do it just like that. This whole thing is sticky, so I only get one shot. Get under there. Concentrating hard, hard, you guys. <laughs> okay, we're going to put this right here. This says, in an auction where the value of an item is uncertain, every bidder makes his own decision on its value. And that is true. Because, the, you know, I look at some things I won't pay over a dollar for. So if they outbid me, there you go. And if it's something I really, really want, the sky's the limit. If they decide their valuations privately, there will be a range of different valuations, which is true. The true value of the item will tend to be around the mid-range of the different bidder's valuations. The sale will go to the bidder who overestimates its value the most. Auctions winners pay over the odds. And they do. We do. <laughs> And there's always like a buyer's premium too on auctions. 
like 15%. So that dollar is going to cost you a dollar 15, which goes to the auction house plus 40%. So you're not really, the, the seller is not really making anything at the auctions unless, you know, they got some really good items and um, the bidding, somebody has overvalued, overvalued what they want. Like, um, for example, yesterday I was looking at Christie's, which is a local auction here. And they had some 19 calendars from the 1920s. And I thought that would be a nice thing to put in these journals right here, but I wasn't going to pay more than a couple dollars for it. And Somebody done overbid my couple of dollars, so. And plus, I just decluttered, so I don't want to reclutter my house with all that stuff. Even though I would use it. Okay, something with a spine. We have our lemurs, a path or a road. Your least favorite color is this red. A formula, this auction formula, a crossword or newspaper magazine puzzle, my logic puzzle, and bonus, a dried leaf or a flower. So I got my dried leaf or flower up there. So th again, this is Marguerite Miller Challenge 2022, week 31. So join me again for my next Marguerite Miller video, which I don't know when it will be, but I hope you join me then. And until then, as always, be safe. Don't let the world change your smile. Let your smile change the world. Till next time, bye.